Let me ask you just one question. Do you want to take your game to that next level? If the answer is yes, then you are not alone. You see, every player from beginner to pro strives to up their game every time they get back to the table. Come with me as I show you proven techniques that have helped me in my quest to become a better player. I am not a beginner, nor am I a professional. I am an average guy on a mission. That mission is to take my game to new heights. Along the way, I hope to inspire and help you in yours. I am Ron, the pool student. Hey pool players, hey Ron here. Welcome once again to the Pool Student Channel and thank you very much for watching everyone. Man, am I fired up. I've already recorded the video and I cannot wait to show it to you. You know, if you guys have caught the last video that I showed you about spin-induced throw and how to aim with spin, and in fact, if you haven't seen that video, I'm going to include it at the end of this, a link at the end of this video so you can check it out. But I'm now going to break down the 9-10 drill in real detail, and I'm going to actually show you me going through the process, and then ultimately, I'll clam up and I'll actually try to perform the drill like it's supposed to be performed so you can see what it is that you need to do. Without a doubt, in all of the training that I have done since I started back in February 22nd of 2021, this drill is bar none the best. I mean, there is, none, there is no other that has helped my game more so than this one. So without further ado, let's check it out. Okay, the 9-10 drill. There is no better drill to understand spin-induced throw than this drill. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you some shots that are successful, but then I'm going to also show you shots that are not successful. And these are the shots that I struggled with early on. It was that I was overrunning my target. Uh, I was missing the shot because of the spin I was applying to the cue ball. Lots of issues. But first, let's just shoot a, a nice... A clean shot and we're trying to gain position to this paper so I'm gonna bear down I'm gonna aim at this I'm gonna step into the shot line as I see it I'm gonna apply the right speed and spin to this cue ball and that's good anything on a paper is gonna be great so now let's go ahead and show you some of the issues that you could have, especially if you're trying this for the first time. If you're a, a new player in billiards, you're probably shooting center ball on the cue ball most of the time. Well, let me show you what can happen if we shoot this shot in with just center ball. And, we're, and once again, we're trying to gain position so we can shoot the 10 in next in this pocket, okay? So center ball, let's see how this works. Step into your shot, feel the shot. And look at that. Even if I would have hit it harder, it was coming right here. I mean, look at this. I would have had to be right there for my position. Not at all an easy shot. You cannot just hit center ball. That's the beauty of this drill. You know, one of my subscribers, uh, Mark Hilliard, actually put it perfectly in one of his comments. He explained exactly why this drill is such a challenge. It's a finesse drill where we're spinning the cue ball and we, and we have to predict the throw on the object ball so the aim is entirely different than center ball like I just shot there. I'm actually, just to give you an idea, when I shoot this shot, let me tell you where I'm aiming. If I hit this straight with center ball, this object ball is gonna hit right there. About four or five inches from the point is where I'm aiming with the amount of speed and spin that I have to put on this cue ball to get it to go two rails to come here. Let me just go ahead and do it that way. I'm gonna aim it with spin where I know I've got to aim it. Now I'm going to hit center ball and watch how short this is. You see that? It hit right there. That's where I'm aiming. I guess this is a, a great way to show you guys 
you know, what it is that I'm thinking about, because I know when I put that speed and spin on that cue ball, it's gonna throw that nine ball into that pocket. Now I'm gonna go ahead and try to do it with the speed and with the spin. Little short, little short. I might be able to save this though. Anything center of the table or over, usually I can recover from. But this one is a little bit this side of center. I'm gonna do the best I can. Let's see if I can do it. I'm still gonna put spin on the cue ball. Once again, I gotta to go to that pocket. See the issue? It was so thin, it was so hard to make it, as well as get position. So now I'm pretty dead. I don't think I can make it and get onto that paper so that I can get back to this 10 ball. So you see this drill is so difficult because we've got to stay in line. So let's try this here. There's no way. I'm gonna put some inside spin, but even then I'm not gonna be able to hold it to that paper. There's just no way. Make the shot too. I've got to just drift it in. I just don't feel I can make it. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way. I, I was so, I was so negative in my mind because I knew it was such a bad back cut and to try to hold the cue ball right there, not gonna happen. So you can see I failed there. So now let's go back and let me show you another problem that we can have. If we overrun the paper, we hit it too much with too much stroke, with too much speed. We're gonna pocket the ball, but are we gonna get position? This was a common problem that I was having early on. Well, that one's perfect, but <laughs> let's go ahead and make sure we overrun it. I've now come to the point where I'm where I almost feel the shot so much that it's hard for me to over hit it. Okay, but I'm gonna go ahead and try that. I'll go ahead and try to make this 10 and try to get position and start again here. See the spin I put on that cue ball? It was perfect. See, it's right on the paper. That's exactly what you're looking for. Man, I love showing you guys this drill. This is so powerful, this thing. And chalk up a little bit, don't want to miss cue. I'm not really stroking it, you know, I'm finesse stroking it, but you can still miss cue because you're hitting it quite a bit as a top running spin situation. Now, because it's on this side of the table, I've got to almost stun it a little bit to come over here. See that? I had to stun it because it was almost a little too straight. And now, because of that, I'm kind of in the same situation I was just now on that side. So how can I make that? I can still make it, but I got to kind of stun it into this corner and come over here. Perfect. Perfect. You see, guys? This drill makes us have to shoot the shot differently if we're just off subtly to one side of the paper or the other. Let me show you something else that I run into uh, where I get too straight in. So if I get too straight in, let's say I'm dead straight like that, that's really tough. All I can do here, I can't draw back because once again, I'm trying to put the 10 in here, right? I can only go forward. If I go forward, that's a, a long shot, very difficult. I mean, I, I struggle with that shot because I've got to predict the throw on that ball and get the spin right and deliver the cue ball at the ghost ball position from distance, and that's not easy. All you can do here is go straight ahead. Give yourself some room because you've got to put the nine ball back. Now I've got that long shot. I can make it from here with no problem. Let me see if I can recover here. This is tough. No doubt, this is tough. And you trying this drill will run into this. And you'll learn right away 
Never try to be down in here. Always try to be at least at the paper or you know somewhere in here. Now really bear down and try to spin this in and get position once again. Oh, just missed it. My position was pretty good. And had I made it, I probably would have overran because I would have thin, hit, thinned it a little bit more. I, I basically hit it too full. So that's why I ended up with fairly good position. So we can never say that our position is good if we missed the shot because the shot wouldn't have been the same, right? The position play would not have been the same. So anyway, you can see that's a difficult shot from distance. I had to spin that and predict where that cue ball was going to be delivered to my object ball from distance. Not easy. Now another thing that we, we might run into is we get too far this way. What do we do here? All we can do here is go one rail and hopefully come back out to there. So let's see if I can do that. I do have to put a little spin on it here. A little bit too far. But that's okay, I think I can recover from that. So these are issues that I had early on, that you will as well. So you're gonna, you're gonna have to deal with them and this is gonna teach you, you know, how to uh, gain position in a real game situation from a shot like this. Once again, I'm gonna spin it. I can't hit it very hard. Well, how's that? How is that? Okay, let's see if I can continue here. I think I hit it too short. Ah, I knew when I hit it. You see, beauty. This drill is a beautiful drill. Now, let's see if I can get myself back in line. hit it I overcut it there again guys you can see I mean I, I shoot this drill a lot and even I will have trouble like that so once again I have to start over when you miss you got to start over go ahead and put it right in the middle of the paper and then see if you can get yourself going on a streak Ooh, I overcut that one and look at that I didn't hit it hard enough no way I can continue so even me, shooting this drill all the time, you can see my struggle here. But that's okay, you know, here's the deal. Let me say this, you guys. Even though you miss, because you're performing the shot, you know that uh, you've gotten feedback. Right there, I knew I understroked it. I also overcut it, and that was because I just didn't stroke the ball correctly. I wanna put the ball roughly in the center of that pocket, so all of these missed shots are helpful to us as well. The reward is to continue. So getting there is the battle. And that's what is really training our, our mind to understand the throw that we're putting on this ball with the amount of spin and speed that we're putting on the cue ball. Not bad. Well, I take it. It's a little bit straight, a little bit too far. I want it to be right there, but look at that. Just four, five, six inches makes all the difference, right? Now this is a real interesting shot right here. I didn't cover this one. So once again, we don't have to go two rails. We're trying to go two rails, boom, 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 to that paper. But because now I'm almost straight in, and I really can't go two rails here because it's so straight in, but I do have a little cut angle. I'm gonna use inside spin right now. And I'm gonna try to go here, here, and then over. This is a really good shot right here. I hope I can do it. It's not easy. kind of let my cue out of my hand right there. You see that? 
But look at that, I kind of gained position. Do you see the beauty of this? Even though I didn't have the ideal two rail to get there, I was able to go here, here, and get there. Okay, now I'm inside a little bit. Let's see if I can continue here. You know what I probably should have done? Ooh, I almost missed that. What I should have done in that shot before is I should have had a closed bridge. I used an open bridge, I let my cue go. I lost control of my cue. Even though I made the shot and got position, in there, you can see what happened there, I got too far. So now I've got to come off this rail and try to get back over. I'm going to give it a little stun. Oh, I didn't do that one good. I was trying to go here and here, and I didn't hit enough follow. And I hit too much center ball and it did a direct stun almost into the side pocket. I've actually scratched like that before. So now this shot is a real difficult shot. Let's see if I can, let's see if I can, it's really that same shot where I shot the inside to get here. It's the same thing, but it's a little farther. Not bad, not bad. I'd rather be right there than on the other side of the paper too. That's too hard, that's way too hard. See there, I blew it. Now that one I can't recover from. So there again, the beauty of this drill, you've seen it right here firsthand of me trying to make this happen and I even struggle with it, and I perform this a lot. But along the way, all these misses are gonna register and you're gonna go, yes, I know what I gotta do and what I need not to do, okay? Good stuff, you guys. Okay, now I'm gonna clam up and I'm gonna just try to perform the drill and show you how it should look. Sometimes when I, when I talk and try to walk through the drill, I struggle because I'm not in full concentration mode, so. Hopefully I can put a few together here for you. much. Did pretty good. Got myself a little out of line and that's what I paid the price. Don't think I can recover from it. I'll try because I just don't think I, I can, might make it but I think I'm going to overrun the nine. But let's just see. Exactly what I thought. Beauty of this drill you guys. Give it a try, it's gonna help your game.